so sick of it Run up in your crib just for the sake of sticking it Yeah, I'm ridiculous I know this is Kanye's track, but I'm kissing this I'm still laughing at these cats like I'm ticklish Just something about that shit, I like flipping it The world's back on my dick, I'm Mike Vickin' it Hola, hola. This is your boy Tico Trin. And I'm going to talk about my thoughts on the whole entire Karen topic about the Karen and uh, it being people trying to say it's wrong or it's, 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 it's racism or shit like that. No. I'm going to approach this from a, a cultural standpoint and a minority standpoint when it comes down to it. My overall thoughts on Karen or Karens is it's not racist to be called a Karen because at the end of the day, from my standpoint as a minority, Karens are racist. Karens are racist. I've never met a Karen. I don't mean the name, but I mean like people who act like Karens. They tend to be very racially biased or pretty racist for the most part. <laughs> they're very damn racist. And the thing about it is they're, they're the ones that'll say, I'm not racist, <laughs> but, but they'll call the cops on you for barbecuing in the park. They're not racist. They'll call the cops on you because they don't believe you live in the same apartment building that they live in. They're not racist, but they'll call the cops on you because your bumper happens to be Partially in the crosswalk when you parked your car. They're not racist. But. They'll call the cops on a little girl trying to sell water so she can go to, I think it was Disneyland. Trip. And the list goes on. The list goes on for all the shit that... All the trauma that Karen's caused to minorities in black the black community for the most part. The list goes fucking on. And the sad part about it is Karen's always get away with it. And they don't even get a slap on they don't even get a slap on a wrist. It's basically one of them things where like they just the cops just look the other way because of <laughs> privilege. And that's typically how that works. And the thing about I've noticed about like Karen's is most of the times, coming from my perspective, most Karens are white. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some Asian Karens, there are some black Karens, there are some Latin Karens, there are some Arab Karens, and there are some Indian Karens. Karens go across the board. And that's typically how that works for the most part. And the sad part about that is... You can't say that you're oppressed when you belong to a certain economic group that's above the group who you're trying to oppress. It doesn't work like that. By your logic, technically, a black person calling you Karen can't be racist. By your logic, because in all technicality, he doesn't have the power and he doesn't have the authority to actually be racist in your by your ideology, which I always found bullshit. But hey, if you're gonna if you're gonna use that argument, you might as well use it. And, and the irony to that that bothers me about the whole entire Karen topic is they're always, always, always the most annoying group of people I've ever met. And I'm not talking about the actual name. I'm talking about people who act like that. The actual act of a Karen, basically. Miss, I want to speak to your manager, or, or... Or my favorite was the one black lady who was at the park, who was at the swim pool, and, a, and basically Karen and her, her boyfriend basically didn't want to let them in the park, the, the swim pool, because they didn't believe they lived there. It's just shit like this that continuously happens and everybody doesn't even blink or bat an eye and they always want to blame the person who's being accosted by a Karen instead of actually blaming an actual fucking Karen. And it blows my mind how how privileged a Karen is. They're so fucking privileged. 
It's fucking ridiculous. So, as far as I'm concerned, if you act a certain way, you get treated a certain way. And they can make all the hashtags and memes all they want about you for the most part. Because it's fucking true. Maybe you want to, instead instead of trying to instead of trying to make something racist or make something forbidden, how about you try reflecting on yourself and changing your personality in your, your some of your characteristics and your behavior, and maybe people will see you in a better light. How about the apples? But you can't do that because you don't want to admit you're wrong. Because at the end of the day, like I said in the beginning of this video. Most Karens, if not all Karens, women who act like Karens or who people who call people women Karens, if you if you get called a Karen nine times out of ten, you're probably racist and or racially biased. It's just facts. I digress. <laughs>